Good team uh, win tonight. A good um, way to get uh, get it started. And uh, I thought, you know, the name of the game tonight was our defense. I thought uh, for the majority of the game we did have some breakdowns, but I really thought we did a nice job um, defensively. Odd team to, to have to play because they're so small and spread out. They're five man. Uh, Gore is really good at driving it, and it's crafty and and unorthodox and a different type of matchup than a than a five guy that we'll typically see. So um, they really spread us out, and we knew we were going to have to defend for the whole shot clock. And I thought, for the most part, we were pretty disciplined from the beginning of the possession to the end. Offensively, you know, they did some different stuff with a um, you know defensively with some switching and. Um, which we haven't really spent a whole heck of a lot of time uh, working on, but I thought we were really patient uh, to get the shot we wanted. Uh, we got to the foul line, which is where we wanted to be, and and obviously shot the ball a lot better from the foul line than we did in the exhibition game. So um, you know, anytime you can go 83%, you get there close to 30 times, uh, you, you feel good as a coach. So uh, got nice balance tonight uh, offensively. A lot of guys, I think we had two guys in double figures, and, and we kept our turnovers down. Of course, they didn't, they didn't press, but, uh, um, and they didn't pressure us too much. But uh, really liked the ball movement tonight. I thought we really shared the ball well. And uh, you, know, you look at the play, you, know, you look at uh, Corvon Gaines, uh, you look at Aaron Strawn playing the amount of minutes that they did, they did, they did not turn the ball over. So uh, Corvon, 31 minutes, so three assists, zero turnovers. Uh, Aaron Strawn, uh, I think four assists and uh, no turnovers. Uh, you take that there from, from those two guys every night. Um, why did Darius Morrow not play in the first half? Well, you know, we have, a, we have some uh, standards and some expectations for our players in practice and Darius did not meet those expectations or standards in practice leading up to this game so uh, um, he did not play the first half um, so he handled it well uh, we talked about it and it's finished it's done hopefully uh, he's learned from it and we'll be able to move on from here we won't have to address it again um, and then Chad didn't play in the second half. Was that an injury? Yeah, it was a foot injury. Somebody stepped on his foot, and he, and he couldn't play in the second half. So hopefully that's just a minor thing. Um, but he really had some pain with it, couldn't get warmed up, and um, could not play him there in the second half. You talked about the ball movement, uh, really good ball movement tonight. What are you doing to impress upon these kids to not put it on the floor unless there's a reason for it? Well, you know, it, Tonight, the way they were playing it allowed us to be able to pass the ball around on the perimeter because they were really helping on our inside game. So things were open on the perimeter to be able to move it. You know, a different type of team plays you and you, they deny you and, and it forces you to put the ball on the floor a little bit more to drive it. But I uh, thought we made the adjustment um, in how they were playing us and, and made that adjustment to be able to move the ball from side to side. We had patience to get a high percentage shot or get to the foul line. Um, you know, the kids are really, have really bought into the unselfish play. And uh, um, you can see it tonight with our, with our balance that we had. So uh, to me, the toughest teams to try to defend are the ones that are really, really balanced, that you don't know who's going to step up in a particular night and is capable of giving you 14, 15, 16 points. It's somebody different every single night. So uh, I thought our balance was good uh, tonight. Uh, we had two guys in double figures, Jamar and, and Aaron. And the um, you know, rest of them, you know, five, eight, seven points tonight. So uh, nice overall team um, win. We shared the ball and we, and we, and we shared the points. Um, you get double figure minutes from nine or ten guys. Uh, that was true in the exhibition game as well. Is that something you see going forward? Or are you going to try to streamline the rotation? Maybe well, it, it'll probably be a little bit more streamlined uh, as we move on. But uh, you know, you get a chance to see some kids in, in action. You know, we we've got uh, um, you know we had a unique rotation tonight because of you know the big guy situation there with Chad being hurt and Darius not playing the first half. But I, you know, Morales gave us good minutes in there, and Samson gave us some good minutes inside. That Jamar. You know, he didn't play much in the second half in our exhibition. I thought, you know, he showed certainly what he can do out there. So we, we, we're going to need different people on different nights. And um, it's nice to give them some opportunity to play here, a little game time to get them to feel what it's like to, to go out there and play when the lights are on. So um, 
Uh, I th you know, it's been balanced. I think you'll see it game to game. It could change a little bit. So um, I think, it, though, as we move on, it'll be a little bit more streamlined. Maybe I should just change every year. <laughs> well, no, I, th I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. And, um, um, you know, you're always a little nervous in, in, in the game, in the first game, and, you know, you don't know really what to expect in a new situation. But, uh, I thought the kids came out in, in a workmanlike way, took care of business in a professional way, and and uh, um, you know I feel you know, I feel good. We got we got a long way to go. We got to get healthy. One, you know, we got to get Brock going. You know, you win the game by close to 30, and I don't think he had a basket in the game. So you, 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 he's still not 100%. He's missed so much practice and he's missed so many reps, and we're just trying to get him ready for games. And sometimes that's not fair, you know, because he's missed so much in practice and his timing's not there and he's and his feel's not there yet. But um, you know, hopefully that you know this and maybe we can get him in practice a little bit more to get more reps uh, uh, because you know we, we got to get him playing obviously and comfortable out there on the floor. Uh, we just are a different team when he's. When he's out there, so. Uh, but I thought he did a nice job distributing the ball. Again, he's missed a lot, and um, I, you know I feel for him. He's he's worked so hard to, to get him in a situation to, to to get out there on the floor. He is rehabbing three times a day religiously, and uh, really done a good job doing that. And just wants to have a great senior season. And he's working so hard to get back. So hopefully, you know, we can move forward with him, and he gets a little bit better every single day. Quick turnaround. You looking forward to Campbell coming in here soon? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. You know, Campbell I think played uh, Virginia Tech, who's a top 25 team, nose to nose. I believe tonight. I don't know what the final score last I heard was a one point game uh, late in the game, uh, and I think you know last year's you know Campbell game I think still is resonating in some of our players. So. Um, you know, Campbell's well coached. Campbell's very athletic. Uh, they got good guards. They'll play a different style uh, than we saw tonight. So we'll, it'll be good for us because we got to make a change in how we play um, because they're going to force us to play a different way. So um, it'll be a good test for us here at home. I think it's got to feel good for you after not really getting to play much in the exhibition game. Yeah. Come out and get a full game in tonight. Can you just talk about your performance? It looks like you got a lot of easy shots to knock them down. Uh, yeah, um, just just running the offense and uh, just moving the ball. I think we did a great job of moving the ball, and I uh, just knocked down shots when they were open. But I give my team a lot of credit. Talk about the job Erskine did tonight. It was surprising. Uh, they passed the ball well, did ball movement, provided a pretty good challenge for these guys. Yeah, yeah, they played tough. We knew they were going to play tough, and uh, we just wanted to contain them and uh, try to stop, stop them from penetrating because they're smaller and quicker than we were. So we just want to contain them and do the best we can on defense and rebound. Um, Aaron, Jamar mentioned the fact that the offense seemed like it flowed. You look pretty comfortable in it, too. Um, maybe more comfortable than you were last year, do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, more comfortable than I was last year, but uh, I always credit the guards. Uh, they can really penetrate and get into the hole and um, kick it out. And we got to be able to hit those shots, and we work on them every day. Coaches try to get us set up times to shoot every day, so keep in getting better with that. 1-0 <clears throat> now, and uh, Campbell. Uh, your belt, get a little bit of momentum going. Uh, what's that your uh, It just motivates us. Uh, we hungry, we hungry. This is a good game. Uh, we got to stay. We got to stay focused. You know, this one is long, this one not the way. We focus on Campbell now. They beat us last year at their place. You know, so we we trying to get them back. Some of the best ball movement we've seen in East Carolina in a while, Aaron. Uh, talk about this offense. Uh, I love it. Uh, we just keep moving the ball, uh, and it it creates open shots, easy open shots. Uh, and like tonight, uh, moving the ball. Uh, we obviously had the advantage with the big man, so we worked inside some. So. Uh, we keep doing what we're doing, we, and limit turnovers, and we knocked down free throws tonight. That was that was a big thing tonight. So uh, we keep doing that. We we we, we should be pretty good tonight. Um, you, you know, even though you're listed as a forward, <coughs> I see you get eight boards tonight. You get seven, and I mean, you know, the big guys did their thing down there, but 
Is that an emphasis this year too? Because I mean, you get a 40-24 advantage in rebounds for either one of you. Could you just talk about that? Just uh, using our athleticism. I mean, I mean, we have the ability, so use it. And coach and coach uh, preaches to us a lot about just crashing the board as hard as we can yeah. because he knows what we're capable of, and we just try to put that into practice and game and just give it all we have. You like the fact that he's using as many guys as he is. I mean, he's running pretty much everybody out there. Do you guys like that coming in and out like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, gives everybody a chance to do their thing. You know, uh, everybody get a chance to play. You know, and everybody performing well, so yeah. everything good.